Hi, I'm Jessica Levesque, C4's Executive Director. I'm a former college professor and associate dean who left college academia in 2017 and took a deep dive into crypto. I'm now a certified Bitcoin professional, and I want to help you become one too. In order to become a certified Bitcoin professional, you need to understand what problem Bitcoin solved. The best type of inventions solve a problem. Sometimes they even solve a problem we didn't know we had. And with Bitcoin, it solved an age-old game theory question called the Byzantine General's Problem. The Byzantine General's Problem, or BGP, is a thought experiment which assesses the risk that a network participant is unreliable and transmits imperfect information, resulting in system failure. The BGP was first written about like this. A group of generals of the Byzantine army camped with their troops around an enemy city. Communicating only by messenger, the generals must agree upon a common battle plan. However, one or more of them may be traitors who will try to confuse the others. The problem is to find an algorithm to ensure that the loyal generals will reach agreement. Predecessors of Bitcoin tried various ways to solve the BGP. While they were unsuccessful, all the research from distributed systems and cryptography eventually led to the creation of Bitcoin. Bitcoin solves the BGP because it found a way to stop double spending. In other words, Alice can't spend her money twice, even though there isn't a central party involved. And this is why Bitcoin is the first decentralized digital currency. It was Satoshi Nakamoto, the pseudonymous creator of Bitcoin, that described Bitcoin as a purely peer-to-peer -peer version of electronic cash that would allow online payments to be sent directly from one party to another without the burdens of going through a financial institution. Bitcoin is a form of digital money where transactions are recorded in a hash-linked data structure called a blockchain. If you're having trouble understanding any of what I just said, don't worry, you're not alone. It takes time and patience to learn about this revolutionary technology. Be patient and keep studying. And remember that while certain technical aspects of Bitcoin have since changed, the original inspiring idea of a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system that is public, open access, open source, borderless, secure, decentralized, and censorship resistant keeps growing stronger. The Byzantine General's problem and how Bitcoin solved double spending is just one piece of information you need to become a CBP. Take a look at CryptoConsortium.org for a more detailed outline about the content you need to understand to become a CBP. And check out our other YouTube videos to learn more about Bitcoin. Good luck, future CBPs.